Welcome, welcome everybody. We are here with the DL2100 uh, Western Digital MyCloud Network Attached Storage. And what I will show you guys is how to set it up and how to set up any new MyCloud 3 system. So it's quite easy. After you plug it into your uh, power and network router, and what you have to do is open up this uh, site on any browser. It's called WD for Western Digital MyCloud DL2100. In this case, if you have the 4100, just type in that. And it takes about one minute or two after you plugged in your network and storage and um, press the power button till you can do this till then of course it's not available because it has to log in into your local uh, network. So you were able to see it then it opens up that um, easy site and um, you can start the setup which looks like this. And then you only have to, the thing you have to do is click the I agree button. Um, of course, I will use it in English, but you can see that there is quite a few languages, even Hungarian for me. Since I'm from Hungary, actually, I could use that. <coughs> sorry for my, um, sorry for my voice, actually. Then the first thing you have to do is add a password. <coughs> Um, you could add a first name, last name and email address. Now this is uh, not something you have to do, I think. So we can just continue on. You can do that later. You can also do that um, so we have later um, online access also to your MyCloud if you would want that and uh, change settings under mycloud.com. Um, you can say that you want to automatically update the firmware. Uh, I don't want to do that right now. You can register it, uh, which I also don't want to do it uh, right now. And you can also participate in improving the MyCloud, which I will also not do right now. And you can also right away um, do these things here up on top, but um, I'm not that eager to upload right away content from, for example, my mobile device or anything. And right away you can see we have 6 terabyte 3. Actually, I have the 12 terabyte version, uh, which means that it is in RAID, I think, 0 right now. Um, we have 1 users, we have 0 cloud devices, 0 apps, and no network activity at all. There could be a firmware update, I could do that later, uh, but what I want to check out first is in storage. Um, for example, you can see it's in RAID um, 1. And I could change now the RAID mode, hit the OK button, and then we have different options, obviously, of course. Then spanning, of course. Which I will actually want to do. RAID 0 is also nice. for just faster and we can also say we want switch to RAID 1 actually which it should be configured in but I want a larger capacity and there's always information but it's quite tiny here so that's actually a little bit stupid So we could say we want to switch to RAID 1. And right now there's of course nothing on there, I just plugged it in and um, it's quite easy to use and you can see that both are a little bit full with of course software by Western Digital. There's nothing to do here actually so what we can do is um, go back but of course once you change the RAID modes um, there will be all your, there will all all your data will be gone. That's what I wanted to say. So again, let's continue here and let's do the spanning thing. Hit the next button. So we are no gigabit network right now. The computer is connected via Wi-Fi actually. And it's quite strange that I cannot hit the next button um, to change anything here. So maybe I will just do this later and let's continue on um, here going through the settings. 
I think the site is maybe just a little bit slow and the hard drives are still doing something. That's why I cannot do anything right now here. Um, and let's just see. All right. ISCSI, volume virtualization, there's all kinds of stuff on here. You could do USB backups on an external hard drive. You could use remote backups, internal backups, um, also to the cloud. But obviously, you can see there is not too many um, options for that. And camera backups could be also handy from your smartphones, anything else that you want to use that for. Cloud access can be added here for a few um, users and you can also share just different folders. These are the folders right now, for example, Time Machine for Apple users could be handy. And there is obviously the user management system, which can be handy to just add access, for example, for your colleagues or in my case, my family members. Now up here on top, there's a few things like, for example, there's a new firmware update. So notifications um, help and um, you can change change your um, admin user and there is USB devices that you could um, access and then of course there is apps that you could use like for example automatic downloads from peer-to-peer -peer servers could be handy FTP downloads and the most important probably the settings and um, now here we can change the time zones cloud settings um, for example I don't need time machine we don't have any Apple devices at home so um, we could completely turn that off um, you can clear your um, a trash bin on the bottom then the network can be completely uh, completely set up like anything you want it's really quite a lot that you could do here even though it looks quite simple um, under media you can uh, for example create a whole iTunes server um, utilities allows you also to check your systems logs if there is uh, something uh, wrong we have it running for 30 minutes now you can see it also here and you can even um, mount ISO images Notifications, you can even get them via um, text message. I probably think that's not for free, but per email is also probably enough. Um, and then firmware upgrades can be automatically downloaded or not. And that's actually it from all the whole settings I wanted to show you. What I will do is right now update, since you can see it here, we have 1.06 and there is a way newer update there. And before I will continue doing anything, I will just do that and that uh, and you can obviously um, say you want to have that automatically happening, but uh, you can see the system is a little bit slow, but um, hopefully with the new update, that will be a little bit better. Thank you much for tuning in. This was my uh, first uh, setup video. You can see it's really quite easy here for the MyCloud DL2100. Um, and what's also really easy is to just check it out now um, here in your network. Oops. So in your network, you can just go here under network and here on the other devices there is already another network attached storage and it will appear here um, or you can just um, type in uh, like this you can see here an, ex an extra um, folder and uh, Microsoft will remember it as a network attached storage once you have it completely um, set up um, here on this machine. So thank you much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Balaj and until next time, peace and again.